We have seen that the metacentric height can be used as a measure of initial stability. We also have seen that changes in GM affect the entire stability curve. In this pontoon, for example, a change in the position of G changes not only the initial stability, but the range of stability as well. The center of gravity is at the approximate center of the pontoon. With this GM, it may be seen that the resistance to inclination is fairly good. For when the small weight is moved outboard, the pontoon will take a list of only about 12 degrees. It can also be seen that with this GM, the point of vanishing stability, or point at which it will capsize, is about 90 degrees. However, by the shifting of weight downward, GM of the pontoon is increased. The range of stability is improved. The topside weight in the off-center position now produces only a negligible amount of list. And the pontoon can now be inclined to about 140 degrees before it will capsize. Conversely, by shifting the weight high enough, to produce a very small GM, the stability of the pontoon is so impaired that a shift of the topside weight away from the center line now is sufficient to capsize it. It should be noted that up to now, all changes of GM have been accomplished solely by a shift of the position of G, the displacement having remained constant. However, when a smaller weight is substituted at the center of gravity of the pontoon, its displacement changes. As a result, GM is changed by a shift of the position of M without changing the position of G. When the draft is decreased through the reduction of weight, the elliptical path of buoyancy expands. And the curvature for small angles of inclination places the metacenter higher. On the other hand, if the draft is increased through the addition of weight, the elliptical path of buoyancy contracts, placing the metacenter lower. A change of GM brought about by adding or subtracting weight may affect stability differently than a change of GM when the weight is constant. When the original weight was centered in the pontoon and the top side weight moved outboard, the pontoon took a list of 12 degrees indicating good stability. However, when a smaller weight is substituted inside the pontoon, the draft is reduced.
raising the position of M, thereby increasing GM. But the stability of the pontoon is now impaired, for while the GM is now greater, the weight is smaller. And it must be remembered that the value of the writing moment is the length of the writing arm multiplied by the weight. The loss of stability becomes evident when the top side weight is moved outboard. For now, instead of 12 degrees, a list of 25 degrees is produced. The importance of weight, as well as GM, in the evaluation of the stability of a vessel can be seen in the following examples. A naval vessel leaving port, fully loaded, carries a large amount of fuel oil, ammunition, and ship stores. In this full load condition, the vessel, represented here schematically, has a displacement of 16,500 tons and a draft of 27 feet. The shape of the underwater volume places the metacenter approximately 29 feet above the keel. Due to the distribution of the weight, the center of gravity is 24 and one half feet above the keel. The GM, therefore, in the full load condition, is four and one half feet. Referring to the stability curve for full load condition, it may be seen that when the ship is inclined to eight degrees, a writing arm of six tenths of one foot is produced. By multiplying the weight of the ship, 16,500 tons, by six tenths of a foot, a writing moment of 9,900 foot tons is obtained. The maximum writing arm for this condition of loading is produced at an angle of 45 degrees. Multiplying the ship's displacement, 16,500 tons, by the writing arm, four and three tenths feet, at this angle of inclination, we learn that the maximum writing moment is almost 71,000 foot tons. Now, let us follow this particular ship through a cruise and see how changing conditions of load affect her stability. After some time at sea, the fuel supply is reduced and some of the stores have been used up. In this medium load condition, the displacement is 14,700 tons. Therefore, the draft has been reduced, resulting in a slight shift of M. The loss of weight, however, has occurred low in the ship, causing the center of gravity to rise. The net effect of these two changes is to reduce GM from four and one half to three and two tenths feet. Now, at an angle of eight degrees, a writing arm of one half a foot is produced. Again, multiplying the writing arm by the ship's displacement, we find that the writing moment at this angle has been reduced from 9,900 foot tons to 7,350 foot tons. The maximum arm in this condition of loading occurs at approximately the same angle, 45 degrees, but has been reduced to four feet. The maximum writing moment, then, for the medium load condition is 58,800 foot tons as against 71,000 foot tons in the full load condition. Stability has been decreased, but still is adequate. We come now to the light condition. The ship has seen some action. 
In bombarding shore establishments, most of the ammunition has been expended. Therefore, the magazines are virtually empty. More fuel and more stores have been used. The displacement is now only 10,600 tons. With the draft thus reduced to 18 and a half feet, the Meta Center rises to 30 feet above the keel. But due to the loss of weight low in the ship, G also rises, resulting in a GM of only one and one half feet. Now this represents a poor stability condition for this particular ship. It must not be assumed, however, that this represents poor stability for all ships, because some, such as destroyers, are designed to have good stability with a GM as low as one and one half feet. In this condition, the writing moment at eight degrees is 2,650 foot tons as against 9,900 foot tons when the vessel left port. And the maximum writing moment is now less than half of the original value of 71,000 foot tons. At this point in our cruise, it is apparent that the ship's stability has been considerably reduced. To regain stability, the center of gravity can be lowered and the ship's displacement increased by ballasting empty fuel oil bottoms with seawater. This will restore the ship to a condition equivalent to the medium load condition in which fairly good stability is assured. Failure to ballast in a light condition may result in a dangerous situation. Suppose, for instance, that heading for port, we used up most of the remaining fuel and stores. And at the same time, weather conditions caused the ship to ice up. The added weight topside and the loss of weight low in the ship would cause G to climb above M. With a small negative GM, a ship will not remain upright. It will heel to one side or the other. This behavior may be understood by studying the change in position of the metacenter relative to the fixed center of gravity. In the upright position, with M vertically below G, the vessel is in unstable equilibrium. It heels over until M is vertically above G. and the vessel at this inclined position is in stable equilibrium. Further inclination produces writing arms, which tend to return the vessel to the new position of equilibrium. The overall stability is considerably reduced as seen in the ship's stability curve. The arms are upsetting arms up to 18 degrees the new position of equilibrium. And the writing arms beyond that point are considerably shorter than they were. If the icing up continues, more weight is added high and G climbs still higher. G may climb so high that no matter what the angle of inclination, M never moves to a position vertically above G. Consequently, all of the arms are upsetting arms.
and the ship capsizes. The metacentric height provides an invaluable gauge for measuring the initial stability of a vessel. For when only the GM is known, it may be used to evaluate the resistance of a vessel to initial inclination. When GM is decreased, resistance to initial inclination will be decreased proportionately because the rate of growth of writing arms for small angles of heel will be decreased in proportion to the decrease of GM. But as we have seen, GM should always be considered in conjunction with the displacement of a vessel. Because the writing moment, which is the weight multiplied by the writing arm, is a true measure of stability. And while GM is a measure of the growth of writing arms for small angles of heel only, any change of GM will change the value of the writing arms at all angles of inclination. And therefore will affect not only initial stability, but the maximum writing arm and the range of stability as well.